Come on, just lift your head and say, Lord, I love you. Lord, I love your perfectness. Perception. 
None of us see the same thing the same way. For the most part. Amen. We have different views and different ideas and different thoughts, and that just makes us human. But when it comes to God, hallelujah, we all should have the same thought process. Tell somebody he's able. He's able. Yes, he hallelujah. is. Hallelujah. Mark 17. Uh, 9 and 17. I'm sorry. Hallelujah. I, uh, got some funny looks. <laughs> Man, I heard somebody say wrong book. <laughs> In 9 and 17. Read. And one of the multitude answered and said, mm -hmm. Master, Master, I have brought unto thee my son. I brought my son to you, Jesus. Which hath a dumb spirit. He got a dumb spirit. And wheresoever he couldn't talk. They said, Well, he can't hear anyway. I can't say come out of Jesus' name because he can't hear. That devil can't. That body can't, but that spirit can't. Go to Matthew 14 and 31. And this is this is why God brings us to a place he lets some stuff die. Because mm -hmm. you ain't going to completely believe him until he did. 14 and 31, Matthew. And you have little. Mm -hmm. And immediately, mm -hmm. Jesus stretched forth his hand mm -hmm. and caught him mm -hmm. and said unto him, said unto him, O thou of little faith. Thou what? Little, little faith. faith. So you got the faith lives. You got little, right? Go to 15 to 28. Matthew. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, mm -hmm. O woman, O woman, great is thy faith. Great is thou faith. So we got less, little, and great. You got to figure out which one of these categories you're going to fit in. Amen. Amen. But we all need Romans chapter 10 and 17. Uh, go to Luke 5, 17 and 5. We'll come back to that when we come off of John. Uh -huh. Luke 17 and 5. It reads. Mm -hmm. And the apostles said unto the Lord, mm -hmm. Increase our faith. Increase our faith. And the Lord said, mm -hmm. If ye had faith as a grain of mustard seed, uh -huh. ye might say unto the sycamore tree. We want to realize that our faith is based off what we're saying. You can't be a negative talker and say you got faith. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can't say, well, I ain't got no money, so I don't know how this is going. You, you, that's your faith. Your faith says you ain't got no money. My faith says, hey, even when I don't see it, I got it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But God going to let some stuff come in your life that even when you got all this faith, it's going to die. Go to John chapter 11. It's going to die. Let's start at verse 1. Now a certain man was sick, mm -hmm. named Lazarus, uh -huh. of Bethany, uh -huh. the town of Mary and her sister Martha. Uh -huh. It was that Mary which anointed the Lord with ointment. Listen, he trying to show us something. It was that Mary that anointed Jesus' foot with ointment. He trying to show you something now. She had faith. This is the lady with the alabaster ball. The one you go and you preach in a new place, you got to talk about this lady. Yes. So he trying to make correlation. He trying to put the two together. Read. And wiped his feet with her hair. He, he wiped his feet with her hair, uh-huh. Whose brother Lazarus was sick. So he tried to make the correlation. Now here it is, this lady, no white Jesus' feet with her hair. Gave all that praise to the made her brother sick, uh-huh. Therefore his sister sent unto him, uh -huh. saying, uh -huh. Lord, Lord, behold, behold, he whom thou lovest is sick. Then she's in the hay, the person you love is sick. This is how we do Jesus. We go back and we tell Jesus everything we done, done everything we done saw. Hallelujah. I do that. That's the, I ain't gonna stop doing that. I think Jesus needs a memory card every now and then again. And we feel because we told him this, his response is gonna be what we want it to be. Hallelujah. Read. When Jesus heard that, uh -huh. he said, He said, This sickness is not unto death. He ain't gonna die with this one. Uh-huh. But for the glory of God. Uh-huh. That the Son of God might be glorified thereby. Mm -hmm. Now Jesus loved Martha. He loved Martha. And her sister. And her sister. And Lazarus. He loved all three of them. Uh -huh. And when he had heard, therefore, that he was sick, mm -hmm. he abode two days still in the same place this where he was. This is what gives us. I was reading this. 
Jesus said you need a breakthrough and some stuff in your life about to go, but he don't move. He said he stayed in the same place he was for two days. He didn't move. Now, and you, 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 you read, you'll figure out he was about two miles away from Lazarus. So that's not really far. It ain't that by far. But he stayed where he was for two days. And they done told Jesus, Lazarus is dying. Hallelujah. And we know you right there because Jesus, we can almost hear you if you yell. But he ain't moved. Read. Then after that, said he to his disciples, mm -hmm. let us go into Judea again. Uh -huh. His disciples said unto him, mm -hmm. Master, uh -huh. the Jews of late sought to stone thee. They want to kill you. Uh -huh. And goest thou thither again? Uh -huh. Jesus answered, mm -hmm. Are there not twelve hours in the day? Twelve hours in the day. If any man walk in the day, mm -hmm. he stumbleth not. Mm -hmm. Because he seeth the light of this world. Mm -hmm. But if a man walk in the night, mm -hmm. he stumbleth because there is no light in him. Mm -hmm. These things said he. Uh -huh. And after that he said unto them, uh -huh. Our friend Lazarus sleepeth, uh -huh. but I go that I may awake him out of sleep. Uh -huh. Then said his disciples, Lord, uh -huh. if he sleep, he shall do well. They don't understand. And if you see, he's going to do well. Jesus is saying he did, but he's asleep. Because he understands the dead going to rise with him. Uh, according to the book of Thessalonians, see, he's speaking, he's speaking louder in this book. The dead in the dead, the dead Christ going to rise with Christ. They sleep in the Lord. So he's speaking from this matter. The disciples ain't got that yet. You see. Read. How, how be it Jesus spoke of his death? He spoke of his death. But they thought that he had spoken of taking a rest in sleep. Mm -hmm. And said Jesus unto them plainly. He said this to them plainly. Lazarus is dead. You know, Jesus said you did, you did. Yeah. But he's speaking in their turn. Because he's trying to get them to see something. And, he, yeah. now, and then watch what he said after this. This, this would be offensive to some of us. Uh -huh. And I am glad for your sakes mm -hmm. that I was not there. I'm glad for your sake. I wasn't there, but we'd be ready to fight Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. Let one of our loved ones. Listen, let one of y'all mothers one of them Jesus talking about I'm glad for your sake I wasn't there. You gonna go, you gonna go to the name of Jesus. All that got sacrificed I made for you. You see. Amen. Most of us. Ready for you to lose some things and lose him. And then once you become dead to the things, God will bring them back. That's the amazing part about God. But some of us will never get to the level that we're trying to get in God because we got too much of us in the way and too many things in the way God says. Some of that stuff is going to have to die. So I can get something. What about God make you lose a good job or God tell up a good car? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He said, well, you doing all this, you serving God with all this, you see like you ought to be doing better. It seems like church folk, the only folk that really have to fight in the world. It seems like the world, the folk that they be doing good. We were out trying to pay bills. Lord be to God, they were out here smoking, drinking, throwing money in the club. I was one of them. And they throwing it with a, a hallelujah. Y'all see Floyd Mayweather and all, they, they got money to put it on the table. We right here, we just trying to get something to eat. Amen. Hallelujah. Right. Trying to get another car so I ain't got to wait on Sister Wilson. This man got 40 million just sitting on the table. 100 million dollars. I never bought a 100 million dollar watch. Never. Me neither. Hallelujah. We just want 100 million. We won't even buy a watch. We'll buy a watch. But we won't buy a 100 million dollar watch. And go get me a Casio G Shop. Give me some extra bands. I don't even want to roll it. Hallelujah. But God said, listen, I had to have, to have this to happen so you can believe. Uh-huh. Nevertheless. Nevertheless. Let us go into him. Wait a minute, Jesus. You just told him he was dead, but you want to go into him? You got to follow him. Read. Then said Thomas, uh -huh. which is called Didymus, uh -huh. unto his fellow disciples, uh -huh. let us also go. <laughs> Uh -huh. That we may die yeah, with him. Yeah, he misses the old point. He said, We're going to say we go with the dead man. We're going to die too. God tried to take him to a place. Hallelujah. Amen. 
And when you look at your life and some of this stuff going on in your life, hallelujah, God trying to try, God is trying to do a miracle in your life, so He's killing all some stuff in your life. God is in the changing scenes. Read. Then when Jesus came, mm -hmm. he found that he had laid in the grave four days already. How many days he'd been in the grave? Four, four days. days. Significant, because the Pharisees didn't believe in resurrection. So they understood after three days, hallelujah, that the body stayed. Your body got stuff in it that when it's laid there for three days, it uh, rots. It deteriorates itself. That's why they usually put that abomin fluid in the Get the blood out. But your body got that in it by itself. So he had let him go four days for the uh, Pharisees to know he was dead for real. Because as he went two days, that's how he went dead for real. You see. So he let him go four. He didn't even want you to confuse his death with his death. Read. Now Bethany was not unto Jerusalem. Uh -huh. About 15 furlongs yeah, off. Two, about two miles. Bethany is from Jerusalem, about two miles apart. Uh huh. And many of the Jews, which came, uh, many of the Jews came to Martha and Mary uh -huh. to comfort them concerning their brother. Uh huh. Then Martha, mm -hmm. as soon as she heard that Jesus was coming, mm -hmm. went and met him. Uh huh. But Mary sat still in the house. Mary was mad. Uh huh. Then said Martha uh -huh. unto Jesus, uh -huh. Lord, Lord, if thou hast been Lord, here, what does he sound like one of us? Lord, had you been here? My Lord. brother had not died. Lord, if you was here, my brother, you can't say she ain't got faith. Amen. She said, Jesus, had you showed up, hallelujah, he would have never died because you would have been here. Yes, hallelujah. Tell somebody, just let it die. Just let it die. Read. But I know that even now, whatsoever thou wilt ask of God, mm -hmm. God will give it thee. Uh -huh. Jesus said unto her, uh -huh. Thy brother shall rise again. He, he, he said that brother going to what? Rise, rise again. again. He going to come back again. Hallelujah. This is the part we miss. We look at the dead man, but we don't look at the power that's in Jesus. Mm -hmm. We don't look at Jesus' attributes. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We don't look at his stat sheet. He got a good stat sheet. That's it. Hallelujah. Yes. He ain't never lost a battle. Mm -hmm. Never. And he would never will. He ain't never lied. He ain't never forsook us. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, all he did was kept you in his will. Amen. And we get mad from being kept in the will. We feel like we rather, some of us rather for Jesus a lot to us to keep him in his will. Keep us in his will. Wow. Because we want what we want. We want it. But that, y'all remember that commercial? It's my money. I want it now. Praise God. Some of us feel like that. It's my blessing and I want it now. Jesus said, hold on. I can't give you this blessing right now because it'll kill you. I need you to die to some things so I can bless you the right way, praise God. Because if you take both of these, it's going to kill you. Yes, a positive and a positive don't start no car. You got a red side and you got a black side. But you get power. If you put them both cables on the red, you might get a spark, but you ain't going to get no power. You're going to be like, all the time. I don't know what's wrong with this car. God said, I got to give you some on the negative side. And give you some on the positive side because the negative side, glory be to God, is what really increases your faith, not that on the, on the positive side. Amen. That's true. When you go through and you come out, you say, Look, God got me through this. Amen. That's what testimony service used to be about. Hallelujah. It was about I'm putting God on the spot. Now we, we just testify. Hey, hey, Amen. Ain't no wrong with We used to testify about the good stuff, but we used to put God on the spot in testimony service. That's it, yeah. Huh? I'm praying for God to bless me with these keys to this house. Hallelujah. Amen. That testimony service is I slapped John in. Well, John slapped me and I slapped him two times and I was going for the third one. But some said no. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Read some more of that. Martha said unto him. Uh huh. I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection. She still don't understand him, uh -huh. At the last day. Uh-huh. Jesus said unto her. You gotta put some faith in him, uh-huh. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. She's gonna get the picture now. She finna see she finna show them oneness. And all he said, I am the resurrection in the life, and he that believe on me. 
basically gonna have life, and she gonna get something. Read. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me uh -huh. shall never die. Uh -huh. Believest thou this? Believe thou what? This. The words that he just spoke. And I think what we do when it comes to faith and getting the miracle of God, a lot of times we don't hold God to his words. We think faith is 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 the jumping in, the shouting, and the running, and all that. Sometimes it's it's just similar as what he said. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You got to speak some things in your life that God, Hallelujah, will allow. You have to. You got to tell yourself. He said, if you say to this mountain, be moved. Say that mountain gonna do what? He said, the preacher preacher lay hands on the mountain. The mountain. He said, if you speak to the mountain, the mountain gonna be moved. Right. There's some things that's going on in your life you got to speak to. Amen. Amen. And once you speak to it, you go to praising it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And we, 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 don't, we try not to be, uh, what's that word, cliche, but the truth of the matter is you got to have a reputation of speaking things that, that you want to happen in your life. Amen. Even when it don't look like it. Oh, sure. The weather can predict the storm that ain't even got here yet, and we believe the storm won't come. Listen, I'm predicting some blessings don't come. You better watch out. I maybe have a storm of blessings for Pretty soon. All right. Hallelujah. 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 Maybe if you get closer to me, hallelujah, you may not get the blessing, but you can get some of the gale winds of it. Hallelujah. Maybe you can feel the rain of it, hallelujah. But this is where your mindset got to go. You got to predict your blessings. Yes. Predict your breakthroughs. Predict your miracles. Tell yourself, self, I'm going to be all right. Hallelujah. If this is what God was trying to show them, if you believe this, what, what is she believing? What I just said. Amen. Read some more of that. She said unto him. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Lord, Lord. I believe that thou art the Christ. But he didn't say he was the Christ. He said he was the resurrection. Uh huh. The Son of God. The Son of God. Which should come into the world. Uh huh. And when she had so said, uh huh. She went her way. She went, She said what she said about the peace of the Spirit. Went on her way. Uh-huh. And called Mary her sister secretly. Uh-huh. Saying, saying, the master is come. The master looking for you. And calleth for thee. Uh-huh. As soon as she heard that, she arose quickly. Uh-huh. And came unto him. Uh-huh. Now Jesus was not yet coming to the town. He still had showed up. Uh-huh. But was in that place where Martha met him. Uh-huh. The Jews then which were with her in the house uh -huh. and comforted her uh -huh. when they saw Mary, uh -huh. that she rose up hastily and went out, followed her. The devil bought the audience. They were out there covering with Jesus, but it showed something. And what you're going through, glory be to God, is, is God is using you to, he using your situation to draw an audience. People talk about you. Right. Amen. People talk about you. Y'all, yeah, amen, y'all. Play with it you want to. People are looking for you to fall. They are. Some of them are saying, they ain't going to make it. They are. I get them about two, three, three days. <laughs> they only give you three months. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. That thing is ain't going to be said. He always doing something. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why you got to speak that stuff back. He don't want to got that house. I don't know why he got that. He couldn't even keep up with the last one. Hallelujah. Oh, sir. Oh, sir. Ooh, you gonna go way up there? It's way, it's more expensive up there than it is down here. Well, that's why I'm going up because my, my blessing going up, so I'm going up on my mortgage. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I needed God to take that home for me anyway, because listen, I was very, I was very satisfied right now. And God said I can't elevate, so he had to let that die so he can elevate me. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Don't think about. Uh, uh, Newton. Listen, that's just elevation ground. Thank you, Lord. And some of us get so comfortable with things the way they are, God can't give us no new thing because we never put down an old thing and have more trust in getting a new one. Yeah. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're going to have a problem. You, you, you step out on faith then when you're going to have a problem because you know you got to make that move. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Right. And they sit right here, they get mad at Jesus. And they were mad at Jesus because their brother died because they say Jesus should have been there. Well, Jesus should have been there, but the fact of the matter is he dead. And that still don't change who and what God is. Do you got little faith, no faith, or great faith? Read. 
saying, mm -hmm. she goeth unto the grave to weep there. She goeth to the grave to cry, Jesus. Uh -huh. Then when Mary was come where Jesus was uh -huh. and saw him, she fell down at his feet. What she do? Fell down at his feet. What? I thought he could have saved the people there. You see, he didn't take no worship. Read. Saying unto him, mm -hmm. Lord, if thou if thou has been here, been here, my brother had not died. Where is she at? Still at his feet. At the grave at Jesus' feet. And she reminded Jesus of what he is. Read. When Jesus therefore saw her weeping, oh, uh -huh. and the Jews also weeping, uh -huh. which came with her, he groaned in the spirit. Was he touched his spirit? They groaned in the spirit. Uh -huh. And was troubled. And was troubled. Mm. He got this lady at his feet who rather than die say, Lord, all you had to do was just be here because I know you got the ability. She troubled his spirit, hallelujah, because he trying to get some glory. Yes. Jesus. And some of us will know how to get at Jesus' feet and make Jesus trouble about our breakthrough. Uh -huh. We get mad and I don't even know why I'm praying. No, get back at his feet mm. and put some trouble in his spirit. Hallelujah. 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 She didn't walk away. She got at his feet of the man she know that could have changed the, the destination of on, the outcome of her brother. Yes, sir. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. She got at his feet. They, they read that again. It said, Jesus, therefore, uh, 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 saw her weeping, and the Jews also weeping, uh, which came with her. He groaned in the spirit and was troubled. Mm. Then watch this next question. Uh huh. And said, uh -huh. where have you laid him? Okay, now y'all done did something to me. Now I got to see where that thing was laid at. Uh-huh. They said unto him, uh -huh. Lord, Lord, come and see. Come see. Jesus wept. When, when they showed him the breakthrough that they should have had, Jesus cried. Because he didn't see no reason, hallelujah, that the breakthrough should have happened. He didn't see no fault in him, so he cried. That's different. They, if that was out there drinking liquor, selling, uh, uh, selling quarter packs or whatever, but he looked and said, Oh man, the man that I love is dead. Hallelujah. They cry, they got Jesus crying. Uh huh. Then said the Jew, Watch this, this is so powerful. Uh huh. Behold how he loved him. Behold this God in flesh. And now, this is what they try, God tries to show you how you get the glory. This God in flesh. And other people look and say, they, he love him. Look how he cry. He love him. He said, behold how he loved them. And, and, and there's so many uh, different words they saying. He loved him a whole lot. God in flesh is crying about something he can bring back. But yet he's crying to see him in that condition. Yeah. Now, he got power to raise him up, as we're going to see. But glory be to God. Why is you weeping, Jesus? The fact that you went through. You. Hallelujah. For four days. The fact, hallelujah, that everything that was attached to you filled some of your suffering. Amen. And we don't understand that. Hallelujah. hallelujah. It's got to die to let your faith come. You got to go through, hallelujah, to get somebody else out. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. What about these babies and these young ladies and these young men, we don't go through that. What we gonna tell them? Sit down and shut up. My daughter's gonna be young ladies one day. I need some ladies that been through who, who know how to get through with a smile on their face and the praise in their spirit, so they can tell them something. Amen. My son's gonna be young men one day. I need some examples to the young men. Hallelujah. To, for, the, for, the, for them to understand what a young man's job is, a responsibility and able to go through. Amen. It's never about you. It's always about somebody else. You Come just on. go through. Yes, hallelujah. Sir. Don't you lose your faith. Don't you lose your shout. Don't you lose your praise. Hallelujah. Don't you even give up on God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Because hallelujah. if God had some of our mentalities, a lot of us would have been in trouble. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, no, I would have been. Reason more that. And some of them said, uh -huh. Could not this man, uh -oh. uh -huh. which opened the eyes of the blind, uh -oh. uh -huh. have caused that even this man should not have died? Listen, they talking now. They talking about he did all the other stuff. 
And this man died. Okay, he ain't really got no power. They don't understand. Now he's going to reveal power. This, this is like the, uh, I think the seventh or eighth miracle he did. I, uh, he did eight miracles. This was the, I think the seventh miracle that he did, one of the last miracles Jesus did uh, on this level here. And he get ready to show them something. In essence, what he really showing us is how he going to die and he going to come back. This is really what's going on. We won't go too far there. But that's what that's what he really doing. He's showing that I'm the resurrection. I'm the life. And they talking about blind. Read. Jesus, therefore, again, mm -hmm. groaning in himself. He heard. Uh huh. Coming to the grave. Coming to the grave. He don't want to see it. Like, he, don't, he don't want to see Lazarus in this condition. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everything we go through, hallelujah. Sometimes God allowed to go through, but God want to hurt enough to change your whole system. Thank you, Lord. We won't go through. We go to we go to giving up before we go through. We go to murmuring before we go through. We go to stepping with everybody in our life before we go through. Hallelujah. And some of us take other measures before we go through. Like, but well, I'm going back to the block. I done tried little saying, hey, amen. You go call a quarter key and tell a quarter key you need more quarter keys. Hallelujah. Read. It was a cave, and a stone lay upon it. Don't that sound like it's buried? Uh huh. Jesus said, mm -hmm. "Take ye away the stone." Move the stone. Martha, the sister of him that was dead, saith unto him, uh -huh. "Lord, Lord, by this time by, he stinks. By, by this time, Lord, he stinks." That's what she said. Uh huh. For he had been dead four days. Lord, he stinks. He been dead how many days? Four four days. So we know he dead, dead in, they, in, the, in the Bible terms. They know he stayed. That's what Jesus wanted to do. Jesus wanted to get good and stink before he stepped in. And when you look at your life, hallelujah, God ain't stepping in every situation because he wants your situation to get good and stink before he brought you out of it. Because if he would have brought you out, he would have thought you was doing it. You say, oh, because I got this good job, or because I got this, uh, because of such and such deal, but some of us so messed up, we get a credit to somebody else. Oh, I got a good father because he sucked me this money. Mm -hmm. So God let it go until it gets stink. That you can't bear it, hallelujah, that you don't want to talk to nobody. You rather just, hey, you know, you think you, you know you lose, so sometimes you don't want to talk to nobody. You just kind of, you have that shut down moment when you when you really, really, really going through. You don't want to do everything everybody do to aggravate you. They lick their lips. You don't like the way they lick their head. They scratch their head. You don't like the way that sound. They, they walk all the floor. You don't like the way they walk. So you just try to be by yourself. But Jesus said, I'm going to let it get good and stink before I step in it. So when I break it out, you'll know there ain't nothing that you did. Yes, Hallelujah. You know it ain't your ability, but what I'm capable of. Yes, Read. Jesus saith unto her, uh -huh. said I not unto thee. <laughs> Uh -huh. That if thou wouldest believe, he said, "What? I, remember what I told you over there in verse? What verse that was? Uh, 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 verse twenty-three or whatever. Uh, you remember what I said? Uh huh. Thou should, y'all, sh thou should that thou should see the glory of God. Uh huh. Then they took away the stone uh -huh. from the place where the dead was laid. Uh huh. And Jesus lifted up his eyes and said. Mm -hmm. Father, I Father. thank thee uh -huh. that thou hast heard me, uh -huh. and I knew that thou hearest me always. Uh -huh. But because of the people which stand by, I said it, that they may believe that thou hast sent me. So basically he said, I prayed out loud because the people that was there can hear me pray. That's why sometimes you got to get out of that, out of that, I'm going to pray to myself stuff. Sometimes you got to pray out loud, let somebody know you're going through so when God bless you, the people say, oh, I just heard such and such pray about that. Amen. Y'all know we got those secret prayers. I don't want to say this one. Out. Amen. That's the that's thing you don't pray out loud. Man. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Everybody ain't saved like me. Everybody may not be saved like you. Hallelujah. Amen. And some of that story, you're like, Lord, I got to take this to the secret place. I learned I tell everybody every blessing. Everybody can't have a, can carry your blessing. They go to hate. They get mad. They dislike you. I feel like you're supposed to be bragging. I am supposed to be bragging on my savior. You wouldn't you wouldn't mad at me when I tell you about $197 a week. 
So don't be mad if I tell you I make $497 a day. Praise mm -hmm. with me. I said, 197, I don't know how you did it. I tell you about the $497 a week today, you be like, ooh, he bragging. Hallelujah. Amen. To me, I ain't got the problem. I'm just letting it know that dead, that dead thing will came back something better. Read. And when he had thus spoken, uh -huh. He cried with a loud voice. He cried with a loud voice. Lazarus. Lazarus. Come forth. You see, he ain't gonna lay hands on what he did. Some, some words. Read. And he that was dead came forth. Uh -huh. Bound hand and foot with grave clothes. He had, on some, he had on some dead man clothes, but he came forth. Read. And his face was bound about with a napkin. Mm -hmm. Jesus said unto him, mm -hmm. Loose him. Loose him. And let him go. He was talking to death. Loose him and let him go. Uh -huh. Then many of the Jews which came to Mary and had seen the things which Jesus did, mm -hmm. believed on him. They did what? Believed on him. Because something died and Jesus brought it back, it changed their belief system. And what I'm trying to get you to see, there's some things. He, listen, he let it die so he could change your belief system. Thank you, the $5 you feel like is you. But God wants us to realize you can have a good job, hallelujah, and still not be able to do what you need to do. Amen. You can have good credit, hallelujah, and still not be able to do what you need to do. Amen. I had a good job, making some decent money, and still took almost four years to get in the house. I just couldn't understand it. We can throw away so much money, whatever you call it, house shopping, that when I think about it now, probably would have been halfway through with this one. But I understand what, 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 what we weren't doing, we weren't trusting God in the process. We're not, oh, because if we get your credit right, you get the right down payment, it's so easy. No, it ain't easy without God. Amen. You got to take him when you got all your ducks in a row. You still need him, yes. if not the most. Amen. Yes. Because what God wants you to know, hallelujah, if I give it to you and I'm with it, hallelujah, ain't nothing can destroy it. But if you get it on your own, hallelujah, it ain't nothing but your glory. And I don't do it for your glory. I want you to do it so I can be glorified. Amen. So the situation you in currently, hallelujah, it, 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 maybe it is to kill you. I don't know. Maybe it is to, hallelujah, to make you lay down for four days. Maybe it is for somebody to roll the stone in front of the door and count you out. Praise God. Yes. Yes. Just maybe. But one thing I can guarantee it, hallelujah, if you don't lose your faith and you don't lose your trust in God, God will roll back that stone and call for you. Amen. All you got to do is just keep going. Listen, I know the trouble, hallelujah, seem like it's just too much. I know the headache, hallelujah, been lasting too long. I know the money been funny. It's been acting too funny, but it's been acting funny so funny. It ain't even funny, hallelujah. But <laughs> praise God, I know it's going to get right. Amen. The money may be laughing now, but you'll be laughing later. Jesus. The critics may be talking now, praise God, but they'll be watching you praise later. Yes. Yes. Amen. And the fact about a critic, the critic doing his job, they're supposed to critique it. They're supposed to talk about you. So when you're doing good, they're going to talk about you. When you're doing bad, they're going to talk about you. But let them talk, hallelujah. But if you're going to let them talk, let them talk about how much you love God. Yes. Let them talk about how, how, how yes. faithful you've been. Yes. Let them talk about, no matter what they go through, they still love the Lord over there. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Says about, I gotta give them something to talk about. Give them something to talk about. And that's my motto. And, and, and glory be to God. It's hard to tell when I'm really going through something that's some kind of sick in my body. Hallelujah. I won't tell you that deal, but you can tell how I'm moving and how I'm sounding. Hallelujah. They say something must be going on. But I don't give the devil nothing to talk about. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Those are, oh man, I'm broke. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. You won't hear me say that. Hallelujah. If I'm broke, I'm broken to pieces so God can use me. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's right. And this is what the church got to get back to. Where's your faith? What do you believe? You think because it's dead, God can't bring it back? You think because it's been over there? Hallelujah. You've been praying 23 years about the same thing. Hallelujah. And God ain't moved. You think God can't move? What God is trying to do is work on you so you can accept the condition. And once you can accept the condition, hallelujah, you got faith enough to know that he can bring, he can change the condition. Amen. And you can't do it. 
And you know something about a dead person, no matter how many machines you got, no matter how much CPR you know, probably what they call them little things. Defibrillator. What they call Defibrillator. Defibrillators. Mm -hmm. They be shocking you with. Mm -hmm. They call them defibrillators. They be shocking you making your jump. They should be infibrillators or something. <laughs> they, they rub them together, put the little thing on. They rub them together. To charge them. Oh, they got to charge them up. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, rub them together. Clear. <laughs> Hallelujah. You just buy the joke. <laughs> so you got a negative and a positive. Mm -hmm. Got to rub, you see? You got to rub them together. Hallelujah. You got to get that, that, that grease. got to let it be your anointing. Oh, hallelujah. Just know you got some oil on your praise God that's running down you. You got to rub that problem with that with that, with that praise. Hallelujah. You got to rub them together. Yes, hallelujah. Yes. And tell your neighbor, clear hallelujah. Because oh. you get ready to open up the, the heavens and pour out that blessing. Oh. And then that blessing come down. And if you ain't kept, you may get hit with one of these blessings. Praise God. That's awesome. clear. Hallelujah. 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 There's about a God about the deep, deep, what it is. He about to defibrillate me. <laughs> Hallelujah. And what it's called again? Defibrillate. He's going to clear some stuff. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. Thank Hallelujah. You. Why you look so sad? Why you look so down, praise God? You mother don't believe he can be brought back to life. Come on. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And every now and then again, Hallelujah, he got these plants I, I go out there and pull the dead ones out of the pot and just throw them in the yard to make room for the new growth. Why are you holding on to some dead stuff? Throw some of that stuff out anyway. Uh -huh. It wasn't no yeah. good to you. It was just weighing you down. It's dead. Hallelujah. Amen. And since God a tree, every now and then you got to prune the branches. Amen. They used to, prune, they used to cut the tops off the orange trees. I don't know if it, I don't know y'all did. But the one in Pocah, they used to cut the trees like a box. Uh -huh. You ride right by the orange, go, they got the tree, they done boxed the tree up. And what they really done did, they done got rid of all the trees, all the limbs that were bearing fruit last year. And then turn back, then you come back to the grove the next year, off the whole tree full of oranges. And God's trying to trim you for some of the stuff so he can give you some new growth. Yes, sir. And don't cut your hands on my other say, when you trim it, you get no, you cut your ends. You ain't cut the roots. So they don't understand that neither. Hallelujah. They said, well, it's split up. Well, you just put a rubber band or something on it. Holy, hallelujah. They ain't gonna give you that. Hallelujah. Uh, praise God. And I look wild. Like, oh, we got a green pass. Talking about your spirit. Why don't you cut loose some of the stuff that's, that's, that's bothering you? Think about the stuff that's holding you back from God. Think about the stuff you can't take your mind off, and all it does is just weigh you down. You come to church, you think about the mess you can't change. You go to work, you think about the mess you can't change. You lay down at night, you think about you missing sleep about some mess you can't change. Hallelujah. You better get an appetite like me and learn how to sleep right through and say, I think about it tomorrow. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, it's pointless to win an argue. It's, it's pointless to argue back and forth. And I know these religions these kids. I know I probably was like that. But some of their arguments be dumb. <laughs> like nobody ain't gonna never win. They just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. One getting mad, the other one getting mad. They go back and forth, back and forth, like it ain't going nowhere. And every now and then you gotta step in, hey, 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 hey. And some, and you can and you can be right and still argue for no reason. Because yeah, they ain't gonna never sure. accept what you're saying. And what I'm trying to tell you, what you're going through got something to do with your faith and your praise, hallelujah. Amen. And God is trying to move something in your life, but if you don't move out of the way, God can't move. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 I said something, that minute. I stopped chasing dreams a long time ago. I did. You wonder why? When you get dreams, meaning you ain't doing nothing. I ain't talking about the dream when you say I got a dream of being a doctor and you going to school. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about the dream when they got the dreams and they ain't doing nothing. I focus on visions. Don't, sir. Because visions I can make come to pass. Yes, sir. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So if I ain't sleep while I'm dreaming, hallelujah. And he said, well, what about daydreaming? That's really a vision because you ain't sleep. You just... God may put you in the treads or something. We don't know. <laughs> so I have visions. And I thought about this whole thing with God. Now, here it is. God let, go to uh, uh, Ezekiel 37. Here it is. God let Nazareth die. But it's something worse than that. He let somebody die and turned into bones. He was turned into bones. 
But Jesus asked a rhetorical question. And the reason why I say rhetorical is because he already knew the answer before he said it. 37 and 1, the hand of the Lord was upon me, uh-huh. And carried me out in the spirit of the Lord, uh -huh. and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones. He saw them well. In the midst of the valley. He put him in the valley. Yes, in the middle of a valley. That's a low point. Yes, and not only that, we he surrounded him by what? Bone. Bone. I mean, everywhere he looked, he wasn't no hope. He, yeah, man, he's like being in the lion cave. You look around and see all these bones. I'm going to be them bones next. He saw him in the midst, in the middle of dry bones. In the valley. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Read. And cause me to pass by them round about. Everywhere I go, I just see them. Everywhere I go, I just see the bones. Uh huh. And behold, mm -hmm. there were very many in the open valley. Uh huh. And lo, uh -huh. they were very dry. I mean, they were dead, dead. They were very. Y'all ever see a chicken bone that been out there for, for a little while? You look at it. It looked like it been, been through the weather. Uh huh. And he said unto me. He said to me. Man. Son of man, can these bones live? Now hold on a minute. Now he ain't talking about no person. Now he's talking about bones. Very dry bones. He asking the question, can these bones live? God let your situation deteriorate. Just get shut down where you see no hope, and then God will come back and ask you to pray about something he done shut down. He asked you to have faith in something. Glory be to God and say, listen, you, 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 can you have faith in that? Lord, hallelujah. Hallelujah. So he asked the question. He said, uh, Son of man, can these bones what? Live. Uh -huh. And I answered. And I answered. Oh, Lord God. Uh -huh. Thou know it. He said, You know. I don't think he was really saying, Lord, you know they can live. I don't think he was saying, like, Lord, you know whether they can or whether they can't. That's my, my point of view of it. Uh -huh. And he said unto me. He said unto me. Prophesy upon these bones. You say something. I'm not saying nothing to the bones. Yes. You say something to the bones. Yes. yes. You want what you want. You want God to come down and God trying to say, you say something because he would have asked him to increase his faith. He said, now, if you say, yes. now you got to go back to those very, very, very dry places in your life that have been dead for quite some time. And you say something. Yes. Yes. Prophesy. Yes, sir. Well, ain't no problem. He said, be no problem. He said, prophesy. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got to open your mouth and say something. We speak the negative, and that's why we always get the negative because we look at it and say, Oh, these bones are dead. These are very, very dry bones. We might, the dogs don't even want these bones. That's how we talk. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm in the valley, Lord. I'm already going through, and you, everybody I go around, I'm going through. Because God, listen, listen, God trying to put you, make you the highlight. That's why when you get in that place, everybody around you see like they're going through. Glory be to God, because God wants you to see, He wants them to see you go through with your hands up. Praising and shouting and dancing. Hallelujah. Read. And I answered. And I answered. Oh Lord God. Uh -huh. Thou knowest. Thou yeah, knowest. Again he said unto me. Uh -huh. Prophesy upon these bones. Uh -huh. And say unto them. Say to them. Oh ye dry bones. Uh -huh. Hear the word of the Lord. Now who told you? The prophet. Yes, sir. He said dry bones hear the word of the Lord. But he talking. Read. Thus said the Lord. Thus said the Lord. God unto these bones, uh -huh. behold, uh -huh. I will cause breath to enter into you. You got to go back and talk to some stuff in your life. Thank you. Amen. Well, I've been talking. Keep talking. Hallelujah. Yes, Amen. Keep believing. Yes, Hallelujah. God know what he's doing. Thank you, Tell somebody there ain't no failure in them. There ain't no failure in them. So if you in them and there's no failure in them, where's the failure? Oh, Jesus. It's the mindset. And why the Bible says, what you think in your heart? That's you. Because God knows if your heart, because he tells you, he said, where your heart is, that where your treasure also be. So God knows if, 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 if your heart ain't there, you ain't even there. You over yonder somewhere. Just about, I know he got it. I know he got it. Hallelujah. Three. And ye shall live. And you going to do what? Live. Uh-huh. And I will lay sinews upon you. Uh-huh. And I will and will bring up flesh upon you, uh -huh. and cover you with skin, uh -huh. and put breath in you, uh -huh. and ye shall live, uh -huh. and ye shall know that I am the Lord. He said, "Listen, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring these bones back, and I'm gonna put. So I ain't gonna just bring the bones back. I'm gonna bring them back to their state. I'm gonna redeem them. Yes, Jesus. I'm gonna put skin back on them. Amen. 
I'm going to put breath back in the body. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You're crying about the bones. You need the bones. Yes. Amen. Even when the skin falls off, if you still got the bones, you can put the pieces back together. Hallelujah. Amen. It's when you get rid of the bones, you can't, you can't recreate the body. You take the bones, I can lay the bones down and say, this is his tibia, this is his femur, this is his spine, this is the neck bone, this is the thigh bone, and the eye socket. Give me another one of the bones. Funny bone. Funny bone. Skull. I can, put all, I can lay all that stuff down and say, this piece go right here, this piece go right here, this piece go right here, this piece go right here. Oh, and listen, you ain't got the you ain't got the vessels in the marrow yet because the vein got the blood got to come back in. Just line your bones back up. Yes. Just, what, what are you saying? Just look at what everything he had already done. Yes. You look how he's been keeping you all these years yes. and just line your bones up, praise God. And then you can put some meat on it with your praise. You can put some meat on it with your shout. Hallelujah. You can let the blood flow with your praise. You can, when you look there and say, thank you, hallelujah, you can put some life back in that body. Here's my don't throw away the bones. Don't throw away the bones. Even when I build, hallelujah, I got a bone mentality. I lay a piece here, and you'll think I forgot about it, and I'll be gone. I come back and lay another piece. And before you know it, you got a whole body. Yes. Hallelujah. You think I forgot about it? No, I put that bone up because it's a it's a memorial to come back to it. Yes, I said, well, this bone been sitting over here too long. Hallelujah. I got to put a toe bone on it because it just look like a, a shin or whatever you call it. It's a shin. It's just like a piece of shin. Got to put a foot on it. Hallelujah. And you don't understand what God is doing. God is giving you the skeleton process. Your blessings are already there, but you cry because it ain't got enough meat on it. Hallelujah. The bones don't grow. Hallelujah. They do, but not when they ain't no skin on them. They just have a chicken bone. It's just like a chicken bone, the same size. It's only when they got some. Got some meat and they got some on it, then yeah, they can grow. And some of us we hold it on to the bones, hallelujah, but we won't put no meat on it. We wonder why it ain't growing. He said, Well, I believe, I believe, but put some on the body, on, on, on the bones, so it can grow. It can become what you want it to be. You gotta keep working at it. You gotta keep working at it. You gotta keep working at it. It's a work. The Bible said, work out your own way. It's a work. Hallelujah. Read. So I prophesied as I was commanded. I did what he told me to say. And as I prophesied, uh -huh. there was a noise. Wait a minute. As I started talking, what happened? There was a noise. Uh -huh. And behold, a shaking. And the bones came together. Uh -huh. Bone to his bone. Bone to his bone. And when I beheld, uh -huh. lo, Oh. The sinews of the flesh came up upon them. Then the flesh started coming, uh huh. And the skin covered them above. Uh huh. But there was no breath in them. Oh, the Holy Ghost one day yet. Uh huh. Then said he unto me, uh huh. Prophesy unto the wind. Prophesy to the way. Prophesy to the wind. He's showing you the day of Pentecost. Prophesy to the wind. Yes, sir. Uh huh. Prophesy. Uh huh. Son of man. Son of man. And say to the wind. Say to the wind. The Thus saith the Lord God. Thus saith the Lord God. Come from the four winds. Uh huh. Oh breath. Oh breath. And breathe upon See, these. You don't gotta go back and start talking to some stuff in your life and say, God say this gonna be like this. Yeah, man. He said, go to the wind. Now this man ain't talking to this man talking to the wind. Yes. Oh, Hallelujah. Yes. And you won't talk to your own problems. Oh, I talked to myself. I, I told you I talked to my money. I talked to my car. I talked to everything. Hallelujah. Because I believe when I'm speaking that, they can hear. Because I think the spirit of God, listen, if God can get the trees to praise him, then that tree ain't so dumb as you thought. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. If God said the rock's going to cry, maybe that rock ain't as crazy as you think. You don't see the ability of your gods. I ain't even seen, I ain't never seen a rock with a mouth. Never. Not, not the one you draw I ain't know any, any one of y'all because y'all look at me kind of. Y'all seen the talking rock? Mm -hmm. The talking rock here, but that's different. <laughs> y'all never seen the rock with eyes? Well, how is gonna cry and praise God? Hallelujah! Never. I never seen a tree that was talking. If I did, that the last time you ever, he got to go. But he gonna praise God. What I'm trying to show you. 
Listen, you got to find that praise in your life and that worship and that love for God despite of what you're going through. Amen. Who said Jesus was fair? I ain't never read in the scripture where he said he's a fair God. Listen, we got to learn how to suffer for God. Hallelujah. We got to learn how to suffer for the things that God is trying to do in our life. In ministry, it comes with a part of suffering. It comes with a point, hallelujah, it comes with a point of separation. But we're dealing with this common thing, hallelujah, and this is, this is what messes up, because see, we done came so common with God in our life at this level that we don't know how to get to the next level because it feels funny. Huh. So we think God is acting different, hallelujah, because God is trying to bring us up higher. Because yeah. I used to ride with you, hallelujah, and run red lights and drink liquor, and I don't do that no more. When you say, no, nah, man, you're going to do all that. You can't see him acting funny. Hallelujah. I just wising up. I don't want to die like that. I don't want to go through like that. I find that it's a better way to live. And what I'm trying to tell you, I became uncommon with that. That was common. That was normal. That was every day. Some of us mess up. Some of y'all say y'all smoke every day. Hallelujah. That was very common. And when you stop, then you feel different. Hallelujah. So let's go to the club every weekend. What's the club? Fat Tuesday, whatever the club name was. Uh, Moonlight or the moon or whatever. Whatever y'all know y'all go somewhere. Y'all yeah, yeah. Amen. Y'all say say goodbye. Amen. Full of the Holy Ghost and all that good stuff. But y'all look like some clubs. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God didn't save you because you were just so beauty and you talk you talk so proper. Right. Amen. Y'all know ain't why he saved me. <laughs> but the fact of the matter is, I was just some dry bones and I needed something desperate. And the life that I thought I was living in, all it was doing was trying my bones even more. Wow. Glory be to God. But God sent a, 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 a man my way to speak to me. Amen. Talk, sir. Thank you, Lord. And that man spoke to me. I seen the chenou of the flesh coming together. Hallelujah. I started feeling a heartbeat. Praise God. I started feeling some joy. I started feeling some hope. Even in the midst of the same struggle that I was left, I was still in the same uh, place. Hallelujah. But I had a different state of mind. Went back to the same place that got saved, that hallelujah, and found that all I gotta do is just believe what he's saying and go back and charge talking to some stuff. Yeah. Used to smoke weed like a, I don't know, like a weed man smoking, I guess. <laughs> like an Indian, like the Wilson people, like a Navajo. Praise God. <laughs> uh, 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 praise God. I, mean, I, I go out there and I tell you, and I just tell the brother, I said, man, I, I would not keep doing this. I'd be out there tomorrow doing the same thing. Tell myself the same thing. I can't keep doing this. And finally, when he got the nerves, and the devil said, you're going to regret it. He got rid of my whole bone. And I told Jesus, I said, Lord, I want to be committed, but you're going to have to help me because you know I love weed. We can't be honest with you. We make all these excuses. Lord, I don't know because God tell me, God, let you see you love all this other stuff before him. But you want meat on your bones. Read some more of that. That they may live. Mm -hmm. So I prophesied as he commanded me. Mm -hmm. And the breath came into them. Mm -hmm. And they lived. And stood up, stood up upon their feet. Uh -huh. An exceeding great army. Mm -hmm. Then he said unto me. Then he said unto me what? Son of man. Son of man. These bones are the whole house of Israel. He's showing us something. This is a house. God let your condition show you you. He talked to you. Through your condition. When you really analyze your problem and you look at your problem, hallelujah, you got to ask yourself, did I do what I supposed to? Man, some problems just come. He's trying to go to Luke 8, 25. He's trying to ask, he's asking a question. If you, if you ain't never had no money problem, everything went good, your kids graduated with BAs and PAs and CAs and all that stuff, hallelujah, you, you, you probably won't pray the way you ought to pray. Hallelujah. Amen. You can go to the car lot and walk out with any car you want to. You won't have no need of God. You would, but you don't, you wouldn't see it like that. A lot of us stay saved because we, we find ourselves in conditions we can't change. But Jesus wanted to know something. 8 and 25 of the book of Luke. And he said unto them, uh -huh. where is your faith? So the question is this, where is it? Where is it? Do you got faith on the negative side or you got faith on the positive side? But where is it? Two sides to this thing. I got faith enough to know if God allow it, then he's going to bring me out of it. 
I got faith to know if the doctor told me I got two minutes to live, that could be me 20 more years with God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I got faith, but they say you ain't going to make it like this. If God sent me, I'm going to make it just the way he said it would. Amen. We was talking this morning, we had that video like 12, it was 12, more, 12, 50 dollars a month on Silver Road. The Silver Road. Oh, yeah, about, about 12, hmm? about 12, 12, 12, 50. Two members. $250 bills. Two members. She was a half a member because she had just came in. So we had a member in the half. <laughs> member in the half. Twelve fifty. We got a deposit. What is the the? We had both. No, we had a deposit. We got a we got a deposit from the tip. That's all that we took from the tip. When the deposit came up, they put the money down for the deposit. Two members. But either way they got to do, it's my faith. I told them, I said, God sent me. Well, I, I told her, I said, deal with it. I guess I was speaking to the congregation. Good. I said, if God really sent us, he going to take care of us. Yeah. And you know the devil will tell you, man, like, boy, you crazy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, boy, you crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, they ain't go back and say, Lord, you got to be sure. Jesus. Almost two years. 1250. And what I'm saying is, so when we look around here, this ain't nothing. If God can do it with two, because I mean he can do it with two times, two times, two times two. It's your faith. It said, where is your faith? My faith was that God said he got to do it because he can't lie. He'll be a liar and he ain't God. And God don't want nobody else to get his glory, so he'll do it. Hallelujah. Somebody let me and tell God, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Just want to increase your faith this morning. You may go up through yeah for a while, but listen, God wanted to die. Amen. And when it, when it dies and you get the right audience, God will do something. Hallelujah. Yes, God. But you got to give him something to work with. Amen. Mark 5 and 34. Your faith is what they need to work with. Right. Other than the dealership, and I told the dude my price, he said, man, we can't work with that price. I said, well, I can't work with your price. It was kind of funny. <laughs> And Susan Wilson, I can't, I can't take her car shopping with me. She's bad, and I be serious. <laughs> and that man, you know, that's people think you be playing when you're, when you're doing business. And then he said, "What's your price?" I said, "Come on, man." <laughs> that's my budget. <buddy. laughs> you see, I knew I would be, but I didn't really want it. I wanted, but really, no, I understood. I didn't really need it at that point in my life. They even talked that way, but it taught me something. I, I, I pulled a brother hollow on him too. I got that brother. I get, get up and say, walk out. He's like, okay. <laughs> brother hollow. If you come chasing me, you got him. If he let you go, you just, just you got no deal. If you go, you can swallow your pride. If you walk out that door and come out, you got him. You see. But it's fake that car salesman. Y'all know how them car salesmen be. But they, you pull up. As soon as you pull up, they ask you to go. That's what I'm doing with my blessings. I'm like them salesmen. I'm looking. Every time something look like it, let one of y'all get blessed. I go to looking. That's it. Not, not hating. I ain't hating that. Because I understand, God. listen, the blessing in the atmosphere. I be looking. Like, okay, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Preacher, I'm walking in here with some, with some Stacey Adams. God bless you. So we used to be on UBs. Hallelujah. Please, UBs. Let them cheat you on these guys. Hold it up, bro. Shoe department. I like shoe department though. Yeah. That's him, Brisa. I, I like shoe department. But y'all following me? Y'all, y'all come in here and talk about me. You know, I went to uh, uh, give me one of them fancy stores. I can't fit in the H&M. They don't make enough for the Steve Man. Yeah, Steve Man. Y'all go on and talk about who I got this. Hallelujah. We used to Walmart and Macy's. And you go to Belts and Bird Island. Ross. No, no, no. I like Ross. Dillard's. Dillard's is extreme. You see, I see what, well, well, okay, God bless him. Lord, going to get ready to do something here. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Especially when you, when you come out of the storm and God go to bless him. Listen, but, but the point that I'm trying to tell you, when you look around and you see change, when you look around and you see people give it, that's the time to start saying, okay, Lord. That's it. But he can't do it unless you believe it. 
You've been fighting these devils and you don't even believe you got the victory in the devil. I tell you that even when it looks like I'm losing, I'm winning. I talk, I talk to them. Okay, well, you got this one, but I'll be back tomorrow. I don't move. And some of us, we, we done became movable. You got to stand in that fight. God knows some of that stuff you. Listen, if he knew who you was going to always win, why would he put the cause in the righteous man what? Fall. So he knew at some point we were going to fall. I said, no, ain't nothing. No, ain't nothing. No, 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 he knew you was going to fall. But do you got enough faith that you can get up and you can move the way God told you to move? Some of us don't move with enough precision. We just move. I move with a purpose. Read. Mark 5 and what? 35. Uh-huh. While he yet spake. While he yet what? Spake. Uh-huh. There came from the ruler of the synagogue's house certain which said, uh -huh. Thy daughter is dead. Your daughter dead. Why troublest thou the master? And he said unto the ruler of the synagogue, uh -huh. be not afraid. But what? Only believe. So all I got to do is believe. And, 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 and again, I'm going to put this in your spirit. See, God let it die because he wants to see, did you really believe? Man. If you turn on your car, you hear like a little, yeah, well, okay, I just need a jump. But if you turn and you don't hear nothing, then you're going to try to figure out what it is. Right. Sometimes God, you turn to give you, you don't hear nothing. But you don't throw away your car. Guess what you do? You evaluate. Okay, they did. So I put a battery. Okay, the battery's still to do it. Okay, maybe I need some gas. Put gas now. That full tank. You you do a whole evaluation process. Y'all following me? Right. Why, when it comes to God and the breakthroughs of God, we don't evaluate ourselves to see why we ain't got the breakthrough. Read some more of that. And he suffered no man to follow him. Say Peter, Peter and James Peter. and John, the brother of James. James the brother of John. Uh -huh. And he come into the house of the ruler of the synagogue mm -hmm. and see at the tumult and them that wept and wailed greatly. Basically, they had a bunch of confusion going on. They crying and weeping and wailing greatly. That's confusion. Uh -huh. And when he was come in, mm -hmm. he said unto them, mm -hmm. why make ye this ado mm -hmm. and weep? Uh -huh. The damsel is not dead. Why you got your head hung so low? Your situation ain't dead. Read. But sleepeth. Yeah, listen, this ain't just sleep. Going back to last week, it ain't dead. But do you believe it's dead? Listen, I'm going over to lift your hands right now and just thank God about something that you just felt was impossible. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Shaka the Lift them again and say, Lord, I thank you. Now get excited about that thing that you thought was good. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about getting super excited. I'm talking about something that you really feel in your heart that's impossible to do right now. That you've been asking God to do for quite some time. You've been praying for God to do. But you just see like, Lord, I just feel like it's impossible. Hallelujah. Get God some praise. I wish I had somebody that really believed, hallelujah, and just started just jumping for joy, hallelujah, and started just shouting like they were just praising you, who just started, hallelujah, just started, just, just, just praising God because you know it was done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give God the praise because you know you won't come out of that situation. Give God the praise, hallelujah, because he done gave you that house. He done gave you that car. He done fixed that money, hallelujah. He done fixed that spiritual condition. I wish I had somebody in here that believes in this. That gave you that position. What about shouting your shit? I wish I had somebody that believe, hallelujah. I can get the best of today. That's how much I believe. I can get my prayer through today. Hallelujah. I don't shout out your shit. What about shock on the loose shit that I like? Oh, I wish I had somebody believe it. I feel his presence in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You coming out of that. And when you come out, you ain't just coming out any kind of way. You coming out with the victory. You might as well give him a prayer now. Hallelujah. God has shaped the thing. Hallelujah. Just to make it honor. Fix the thing, hallelujah, just to make it. God will change your situation, hallelujah, just so he can get the glory. 
Father, hallelujah, hold it there a little while so somebody can see him and lift up his name, hallelujah. Somebody ought to tell the Lord thank you. He get ready to pour the stone back, hallelujah. I see a little light, hallelujah. You get ready to roll the stone back, hallelujah. Just listen for his voice, hallelujah. Yeah. The Bible said he rolled the stone back on Lazarus. And when he rolled the stone back, hallelujah, he said, Lazarus, come forth, hallelujah. He didn't go in the temple, but he sucked the word, praise God. But well, what are you saying? I'm sitting in the word this morning. Tell that miracle to come forth. Tell that prayer to come forth. Tell that child that you are saved. Tell that little one that you are saved. Tell that man, hallelujah, you are saved, hallelujah. You ought to send a word to that false man, praise God. Called for Jesus when that man was sick. Before the condition took turns for the worse, they sent for Jesus. Jesus out there two days, knowing that the man's sickness was unto death. And I just kept riding. I said, Lord, well, why did you let him die? I asked, I said, Lord, why did you let him die? There are, there are some fruits. You don't really see the seed until it dies. And God says, some, some die, some can't be born. And we don't understand God lets a part of you die so another part of you can be born. And God said, except it die, the miracle won't be performed. And I thought about it. I've been thinking about the last three weeks. Hey, Shaka, the bullshit. Because I just didn't think it was fair that it had to die. And God said, you'll see a whole change. And 
somebody told me something and they, I got to be honest with y'all, it made me furious. I got to be honest, y'all pray for me. I ain't, I ain't. It did, it bothered me. And then I understood what he was saying. A dead situation sometimes is the best situation. Because it ain't pulling you and it ain't pushing you. You in control. If you sit in a dead car, you can't even put it in gear. And so God let things die so you can get back in control of what you didn't have control of. And it working so wonderfully that it'll hurt you. And I was sitting there like, I, I've been praying about some stuff. I just told God, like, hey man, yeah, Lord, you ain't forget me. <laughs> Say, Lord, you didn't forget I've been going for this for the last few years. I say, stand still up and send the glory. Thank you, Lord. You know, we use a term on bad days. We say, oh, cloudy days, cloudy days, cloudy days. You know, old folk represent that. But if you're familiar with Jesus, Jesus moves in the clouds. Maybe your cloudy days, God be ready to bring the glory. The children of Israel, hallelujah, when they was going through uh, the sea, God had the cloud by night, uh, by day, hallelujah, and the fire by night. But he was always in the cloud. His glory was always in the cloud. Maybe your cloudy days, hallelujah, is keeping the glory of the Lord upon you, praise God, and somebody can see. All you got to do is keep believing. Tell somebody I'm going through. Listen, I'm going through, but I'm going through. Hallelujah. I'm going through in my mind. I'm going through in my body. I'm going through in my finances. I'm going through in my emotions. Hallelujah. But I'm going all the way through because I won't let the devil get the glory. I'm going through in my spiritual walk, praise God. I don't know if I can do this any longer, but I'm going all the way through, praise God. I'm going through in my finances. I'm going through in my marriage. Hallelujah. I'm going through in my children. I'm going through in the schoolhouse, praise God. But I won't let them go. You ought to just lift your head and say it's going to be all right. All right. All right. Listen, grab your name and say, neighbor, you got this. You got this. And it's going to be all right. Be all right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's a miracle in here right now. Hallelujah. Oh, the Lord is doing something. Oh God, you ought to just reach out to him. You ought to just reach out. Hey, can I go to you? Oh, my God, my God, my God, my God, my God. Hey, how y'all are you? Oh God, I thank you. I thank you for turning this in there. Hey, how y'all are you? Oh, my God, my God, my God. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I say he's here, he's here, he's here. Oh, my God, my God, my God. Oh God, you gotta take it. You gotta take this. You gotta take it. Hey, I'm going to say. Oh, We press. And if none ain't mashing down on you, you ain't really pressing. You pressing because something pressing pushing you down and you push it back. Just hold on. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. There's hope in the room. I say there's hope in the room. There's hope in the room. Y'all love the Lord. Why don't you just give him a great big praise as we get ready for him?
Why don't you think God could be impossible? Listen, let us close the altar. Let's come to the altar and worship him at the altar as we close.